Shalom, brothers and sisters and family. Shalom. Welcome to the live Shabbat class. This is your host, Jeremiah Israel. And welcome to another Sabbath day. Before I get started, those who are new, those who are return visitors, if you have not done so already, please hit the like and or the subscribe button. Doesn't cost a thing. Hit the like button if you are already a subscriber. And hit the subscribe button if you have not subscribed and you've visited my channel more than five times. And hit the like button. It only it's, it's free for you to do so. It it helps this channel to go across the YouTube algorithm that my messages may be viewed by other Israelites that they can learn the ways of their God to understand what they need to do to get into the kingdom of heaven because everybody everybody want that answer that that question answered what I got to do to get into the kingdom of heaven everybody need the answer to that question before Judgment Day. You need to put your best. You need to present yourself the best way spiritually that you can present yourself on Judgment Day. You got to you got to know all. You know you 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 have to have the Ten Commandments fully covered. Or I don't worship no other gods. You know. I don't bow down to no graven images. You know, I don't say the Lord's name in vain. I remember the Sabbath day. You know, you, you got to have everything buttoned down. And then all the other laws. The dietary laws. I don't eat no pig. No type, no type of pork. I only eat fish that has fins and scales. I don't eat nothing else out of the water. You know, I don't eat shark meat, whale meat. I don't eat none of that kind of stuff. I don't eat bear meat. Don't eat none of that. Rabbit. I only eat things that divide the hood, cloven foot, and chew at the cud. I have all the laws down. What I got to do to get into the kingdom? Well, I can't be the only rich man around, around all my brothers and look, looking at them real lowly. I'm just, just lowly. Look at that Negro. Got on them old dirty jeans. And I'm walking around with $5,000 pair of jeans and, and 10,000 pair of sneakers on and, and a $700 t-shirt $700 on with, with a $100,000 necklace around my neck. And maybe a ten thousand dollar ring on my finger. I'm the only rich man around all my brothers and stuff, and looking down at everybody. And then you know this 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 is the punishment for most you Negroes that that like to rumble around in the hood with all of that fa them fancy cars and stuff on, and, and 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 some of your brothers rob you because you shouldn't be doing that. Haven't that taught y'all a lesson yet? You running around with all of that, that value all over your body. You running around looking like a darn bank, a rolling bank. And some Negro take your life because you, you in the wrong for doing that. If you value your life, put your brothers in the same status. You know, you go somewhere, you 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 spread your bread. You take 100000 and pass it out to your brothers. Hey man, I don't know if you you, you know I'm gonna pass out five thousand a piece, and man, y'all y'all uh, start a business and set yourself up, get something done. Not not go out and spend it and go tell you know go out and chase women. If you ain't got a purpose, if you ain't on no purpose, then I, I can't help you. 
If you want, if you want to just rob other people and stuff, you need to lead, need to lead the room, lead the building. You, you know, I give you five grand. I want to see if you, you, you can get, get on purpose and, and, and grind and make that, make that five thousand turn into a hundred thousand in a month, two months, three months. It ain't easy to do. And I can say all y'all got five grand. Y'all can put your money together. See how many do it. Anyway. No, the, the, the thing about it, y'all need to understand that most I got punishes those for things that he, he, he doesn't approve of. You run around with all that money on you and you... And you Sitting before the poorest of your people, looking down on them, and you meet a few of your brothers at at, at, at an underpass uh, in a construction zone, and they don't set you up in a trap, and they take your vehicle and all your jewelry and all your money, and if if you struggle, they're gonna take your life. It happens all the time in all of these cities. That's what happens. Like DMX said, I don't care how much your, your watch costs. How much your watch costs? You're going to get your watch lost. Because there are some brothers out there that are going to take everything from you. Include your life. You want to show it? They're going to take it. Because you, you're daring a lot of these brothers to take your stuff. You running around there thinking it's all cool to be running around in the hood with, with that kind of money all over your body. My people is foolish. Playing the rich game, you're going to get out there and get killed. You're going in the wrong neighborhoods playing the rich game. Anyway, if you guys want to support this ministry, I teach according to the King James 1611 Bible. I've, I've related to the historical data that we have available with the use of Google and all other search engines and all other books and resources that we have available. They call it the smartphone because the most High God gave it to all of us. He didn't just make the smartphone available to only the rich people. You have no, you will have n nothing to prevent, prevent you from being judged. Most I got call it the smartphone, but what y'all do look up? Y'all look up everything else but some, to the data that can save your soul to determine what what the what's the origin of Halloween. And when you find out that it's a de demonic day, you still practice it? Or you or you think about the laws of God and say, you know what, I shouldn't be doing that. That's that's another God. That's a devil. Hmm. What's the origin of Thanksgiving? Another holiday coming up. Ooh, that's wicked. I don't think I should be praying. We shouldn't be doing Thanksgiving either. That's the Northern Kingdom. Those are our brothers. White men killed all our brothers and then they're going to call it Thanksgiving. They're going to celebrate it. I don't think I should do that. What's the origin of Christmas? You can Google all of these. Anyway, if you guys want to support this ministry, you can go to Amazon.com, put this name, Yeremiah, Yeremiah, Israel, in the search line. All the books that I've written under Yeremiah, Israel, will come up. Biblical events, two books ago. I read this one. Uh, yeah, two books ago. If you want to make this book available at the library, go to Amazon.com, put Jeremiah Israel in the search line. When this link comes up for, for biblical events, you click on that link. You need If you want this book available at the library, you need the, the name of the book, the title of the book, the name of the author, 
and this ISBN number right here. You can get this information when you click the link, when you put Jeremiah Israel in the search line and click Biblical Event link. And all the information will be available. You go to the library, your local library website, and there a, there's a, a, a section, uh, I think it's called something like recommended titles or recommended author or something like that, where you can put your input in and recommend an author and they will require those three, th that information, the name of the uh, the name of the author, the title of the book, and the ISBN number. And if they approve it, they will purchase the book and contact you and say the book is available. We give you two weeks to come pick it up, or a week to come pick it up. So they won't shelf it until that time expires, and then you uh you know you can go pick it up in, within that time frame they you know they just hand it to you over the counter because they they wouldn't have put it on the shelf righteous conversations by Jeremiah Israel this is another one of the books written by Jeremiah Israel the same process if you want this book available at the library also I've written books in my given name Stephen Ederson Sr., you put this name in the search line, St Stephen Ederson Sr., and this is one of the books that I've written in my uh, given name. I think I have about eight books written in my given name, Holy Spirit Teaches, uh, pretty thick book, I think it's probably a 500 page book or so, yeah, 508, 508 pages, I don't write books as big no more. But I think I had something to prove back then, but no, nah, I, don't, I don't write books this big. You know, but it's good information in it. If you want this book available, do the same thing. You, you need the name of the book, name of the author, ISBN number. All my books will have ISBN numbers on them. All of them. So it doesn't matter who buys the book, they still have to pay what I what I what what my price is. And you know, some people may buy the book and they may put it on sale cheaper or they may put it on sale twice as high. If somebody buy it twice as high, they still have to pay me what I request for it. Or they won't get the book. So once they, you know, any company can request and buy this book and put it on their, on their bookstore. So if I, if I had a book for $17.99 on, 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 on uh, Amazon.com and somebody, somebody purchased the book and put it on their, on their site for $25, and, and that site is popular, a book purchasing site. I don't have anything to do with it. I, I already got my money. And and, and I, I'm more appreciative of, of them because they bring more attention to my book. And, I, and I'll praise it to those who do do things like that. If, if it's a profit to be made and, and, and they think my book is worthy to be put on their site, I'll praise it to the Most High. And I thank you all, thank you guys for doing that. Cause the book is, you know, once you purchase the book, it's yours. You can, you can put it how much you want. Cause I've already made my coins off of it. I, I have no complaints. And let's get with our lesson. Shalom, Israel. This includes you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Those of the diaspora dispersed throughout the Americas, Africa, India, Europe, Asia, and the islands. Those of the sub-Saharan and the transatlantic slave trade. My topic today is return the kingdom to who? When the disciples and saints ex Christ, was he at that time going to return the kingdom back to Israel that is a few degrees similar to asking Christ to return the kingdom today back to Israel. With Al and Jesse and many other
Cointel Pro Hebrews leading the, leading the, the helm, snitching to the oppressors regarding every move that the righteous made. Now, it's the same, it's the same thing because the Pharisees was running and forming the Romans every move Christ made, every every position, every location he was at, the Romans knew. Because the Pharisees was running and telling him. They were they was concerned about Christ and they was trying to get him killed, and the only way they could kill him was to get the Romans involved. They couldn't kill him because once, once they did get Christ, they had to take him all over to the Romans. Every Roman house, they had to, we want him dead. Why they couldn't kill him themselves? They had no control of their own government. They couldn't say, oh, he 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 violated our laws. We Let's go out there and kill him. They couldn't do it. The Romans had to approve Christ's death. Just like now. When one of y'all, one of you, one of you great men in the hood is killed, it's some white man behind it. You never gonna know. What are you gonna send the dogs after you? Your own people. Y'all, y'all don't know nothing. You just got to understand the power and how the power, this is how the, the Romans worked in Jerusalem. The, the white man don't change his stripes. He using you Negroes just like they used them back with Christ. It ain't nothing changed. Matthew 23, 14. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye devour widows' houses and for a, pet, a pretense Make long prayer. Therefore ye shall receive the greater damnation. If Christ had returned the kingdom at that time, he would have turned it over to a bunch of hypocrites. The Pharisees and scribes were among the leaders of the Jews. And Christ listed many of the problems that he had with them. Because of the scribes and Pharisees' importance, they would be grandstanding in front of the widows, devouring their resources and providing no benefits to them. The shepherd is supposed to feed the flock, not the flock feed him. The flock don't never supposed to feed the shepherd. The shepherd's supposed to be the head. He's supposed to feed the flock. See the needs of the people, create resources, create things, get resources. If, if you have to gather monies together, so be it. But that money is not for his pockets. He buffered himself between, no, I, don't, I don't want nothing to do with that, but I, I, this is what I want y'all to do with this money. I want, I want to get some businesses started so that we can get some people to working and, 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 and stuff like that. You know, get out of these white folks' houses. Let's build us a community over here and we can get some farmland, you know, grow some crops. We get, we can. You know, we can put up some steel frame buildings where we can get people to living in there in a better better uh, living condition. Start out with that first. And then we continue on. We, 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 uh, we open our own grocery stores. Buy our own, buy our own product from, from our own, off our own shelves. And we won't sell it at no high rate and we, we're not going to be used pesticides and all that stuff to kill our people. You feed the, you feed the sh sheep. Not the sheep feed you. Well, God, I suppose it'll be looking good. I, I suppose it'll look good. Not one of his prophets, not even Christ, his son walked the earth looking like a king. People in soft garments, as he said in the scriptures, 
live in the king's houses. And all of these so-called shepherds are, are related to the king's houses. Because the kings of it in, in those cities is taking care of them. Keeping them paid for snitching on, on his people. They living in the king's houses, so he making provisions for all of them. Because of the scribes and Pharisees' importance, they would be grandstanding in front of the widows, devouring their resources and providing no benefit to them. The shepherd is supposed to feed the flock, not the flock feed him. Many pastors, bishops, or preachers move the same way today, devouring the resources of women who are the majority in their churches who are being impressed by their long prayers full of nothingness. All these long, long prayers. Matthew 6 and 5. And when thou prayest, this is what Christ said. And when thou prayest, when you, when you go pray, thou shalt not be as the hypocrites, not be as the Pharisees, the, 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 the scribes and Pharisees. Thou shalt not be as the hypocrites are. For they love to pray standing in the synagogues and in the corners of the streets that they may be seen of men. Verily, I say unto you, they have their, they have their reward. Now Matthew 23 and 14 says, Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For ye devour widows' houses and for a pretense make long prayer. So Christ said this earlier, don't be at, at the hypocrites. So I'm putting scribes and Pharisees because Christ named them in a later in a, in a later chapter as the culprits of this practice. Hypocrites. Y'all down in, in the middle of the streets praying long prayers, see, being seen of men, you already received your reward. That don't get you in the kingdom. You're out there just holding hands and all kinds of stuff. Let's see what Christ says. When Christ was instructing his disciples and teaching his people, he told them not to do as the Pharisees and scribes, hypocrites who are standing in the streets holding hands and praying that they can be seen of men as these hypocrites do today. They love to be standing together holding hands and group praying. There is no reward in the kingdom of heaven for this activity. Their reward is on the earth, being seen of men. Christ told you not to do that. He said, don't do like they do. Let's see, let's go need to think about it. Christ told you not to do it, but he also instructed you how you should how you should pray. Don't do that, but here, here's something. Do this, dear. Matthew 6 and 6. But thou, but you, when thou prayest, enter into thy closet. Go into a closed space. Close the door in your bedroom. Go into a closet, a closed space. And when thou hast shut the door, shut your, when you shut thy door, when you close your door, pray to the Father which is in secret. And thy Father which see it in secret shall reward thee openly. Your God sees what you pray, your prayer in secret, and he blesses you openly. You pray to him in secret. Everybody don't have to see that you pray to, oh, this bless his poor heart. He prayed to God. Look at him over there praying. No, nobody don't need to see you praying. Nobody don't need to see you praying. Oh, most of the time, when, you know, when I go to, to, a, to a restaurant and we go eat, my, me and my wife, we, we'll say grace in the car. So when we go in the restaurant, we just, you know, get our fork, forks and spoon and we eat when the, when the meal is served. Because oh, I don't want to be sitting at my table and people just look at, look at them Christians. Oh. You know, fact is, 
Me and my wife, we won. So the fact is, you know, when thou, that's me and her. When she, when I pray and she, and we pray, we won. So like I'm saying, the fact is, this law includes us and includes the bond because you know your husband prayer with his wife is one. You pray with your family. That's 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 a that's a body. The fact is, but when you pray to your father, you have needs. You have needs. So, like I said, you pray to the Most High God. You know, you pray pray secretly, and He blesses you openly. Christ teaches us that prayer is a private communication between behind closed doors. You pray to the Father secretly, and He blesses you openly. Christ did not tell His people to pray to the Father openly on the street corners holding hands and the father blesses you secretly who changed the truth of God and Christ into a lie many Israelites claim that the devil is a liar but why do they believe him and walk contrary to the most high God in Christ they'll say that oh the devil is a liar but why you why you walk contrary to the most high God you a liar too you a devil have you considered that haven't you not considered that the devil is a liar, but you walking contrary to the Most High God make you also a devil and a liar? So don't make the devil something, some illusionary thing that you that nobody understands what it, we don't know what the devil is, but the devil is a liar. No, look at yourself in the mirror. The devil is a liar. Point it, your finger at yourself because you're walking contrary to the Most High God and Christ, making you a devil and a liar. Matthew 6 and 7. But when ye pray, use not vain repetitions as the heathens do, for they think that they shall be heard for that much speaking. You think God going to listen to you and you just saying the same thing over and over again? It doesn't matter how, 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 how dramatic you are. Oh God, please. Bless the, you know, God don't listen to all that craziness. Most like God ain't listening to that. Because Christ going to tell you in a little bit why he don't listen. Christ commanded the Israelites not to be making Long prayers. I remember as a child after Sunday school and the beginning of church, the deacon would usher all the people before the altar and they would begin praying. They prayed so long that I fell asleep and woke up and they were still praying. The most I gave instructions through Christ to not do as the heathens do. Guess what? Most Israelites are doing as the heathens do. I used to fall asleep and think I don't got a good long sleep. Wake back up, they still praying. Kids can't, kids, children cannot focus that long. You waking up Sunday morning and you trying to, you know, you trying, you trying to stay up. You tired. And they just sitting up there praying. It, it, I'm telling you, 50, 30 minute prayers and stuff, nobody have time for that. Now, as I got, as, as an adult, and I, and I began to understand all the things that, you know, because kids going to react to to things like that. If God say you don't do it, it's going to be seen in the children. You know, children fall asleep. They supposed to fall asleep, you know, you, you Nobody got that kind of focus. Matthew 6 and 8. Be not ye therefore like unto them. For your father knoweth what things ye have need of. Before ye ask him. Do not do as the heathens. Get on the main line, make your request, and get off. 
Y'all already hear that song, Jesus on the main line, tell him what you want. Yeah, get on the main line. Tell him what you want. Make your request and get off. God, like, God has a lot of children. You ain't the only one that's praying. Don't get on there and just, oh God, I wish you would give me some bunnies and, you know, oh God, I wish I want a, a brand new car. Oh God, not to my children sick. Oh God, please bless me. Oh God, 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 help me. Do. No, God don't want to hear all that. He said he already know what you need before you ask him. Get on the main line. Open up a connection. Tell the most high God what you need. Not what you want, what you need. And hang up. And get off. I'm just, this is what Christ is saying. This is all, I'm, I'm just, just bringing it to, to light. The most I already knows before you make the request. Get on the main line. Tell him what's in your heart and get off. You don't have to make, you don't have to write a 10 page book and, and speak slowly. Tell the Most High what you need. Tell him you're, you're thankful, what you need, and get off. Matthew 23, 15. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye compass sea and land to make one proselyte. And when he is made, ye make him twofold more of the children of hell than yourselves. Mm. Scribes and Pharisees are responsible for converting he heathens into the religion, Judaism. See, the Jews, com the Jews created this religion, Judaism. The, the, the children of God created this relig religion. Because it's being it's being said right here. Let's see what a proselyte is. A proselyte has a Greek root proselytos. Proselytos, which means both convert to Judaism and one who has come over. Convert to Judaism means both convert to Judaism and one that has come over. Definitions of proselyte. Now, a new convert, especially to a religion, a convert. So, uh, a proselyte is not already a Jew by blood. Not, all, not already uh, from the tribe of Judah. A proselyte is somebody they converted over to, to, to the religion. Not by blood. That's what a lot of these Amalekites are. Proselytes. Now they have taken over religion like the religion belongs to them because they enslaved the real Jews. See, but the, folks, the fact is the, 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 the real Jews did not listen to the Most High God Treated these devils better than they treated their own people. And what happened to them? Their religion and their nationality was taken from them. Does this sound familiar? Many so-called black Christian churches will bend over backwards to get so-called white members into their church and care less about their own people. They create no plans to elevate their people or the people within the community. They forgot their purpose, but all the while they are focusing on money. When when they get these proselytes in their church, oh boy, do they get money? Cause these proselytes are dentists and doctors and educators and all kinds of stuff with, with 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 bags of money, entertainers with bags of money. 
So all of a sudden, you you into that realm of of double wickedness. You getting money from everywhere, and and, and these proselytes are making wicked requests. James one twenty seven, pure religion and undefiled before God and the Father is this: to visit the fatherless and widows in their affliction, and to keep himself unspotted from the world. The shepherds of Israel are supposed to be walking a certain way, setting righteous examples. And not doing things for conscience sake. So. We. Now we got the understanding of what. What these. These people are supposed to be doing. But. We get some understanding of what these people are supposed to be doing. But you got to understand what the hypocrites are doing too. People calling themselves men of God. And especially, like I said, I, I'm, not, I'm not leaving out nobody because the camps do the same thing. They are not focused on, the, on, on the, what the Most High God's laws are. Now they want you to focus on the laws. Because when they come to you, they, they throw the whole boulder on your shoulder and they never... never Never think of anything that they're doing wrong. I, I, I've seen how they operate in the street. And, and I, I agree with, 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 the, with the scriptures that they're, they're, they're saying. But they're harsh toward the people who are wrong. We know how wicked and foolish our people are. But I see a lot of wrong that they're doing. Most like God didn't tell us to build a spiritual community where we just, the spirit, he told us from the beginning, thou shall make no covenants with them. We got covenants all over the place. They should not live in your land. We got to live in their land. There's not a community where white folks ain't living in, in, in the land. Or other, other people. You, you create your own separate community. We ain't saying be unfriendly to, to, to white people. I'm not saying that. I'm saying there are things that our God tells us to do that's not for white people. Now, if they want to be part of the community, of the, be part of the Most High God's laws and stuff, they can, they, feel they can do those laws. In our community, they, they have to do the laws of the Most High God. Not in their community, in our community. We keep the Sabbath. They got to keep the Sabbath. Dietary law, moral law, civil law, ceremonial laws. They got to be. They they have to commit to those in our community. And and when we're in their community, we don't even have to commit to none of, none of the Most High God's laws. So who are the heathens? We are. We are. We're being made heathens by default. Because it make, they make it hard for us to commit to our father's laws, but all of their, all of their laws, we had to commit to. Oh, y'all, y'all, we're off Thanksgiving. Oh, we're off Christmas. What about the Feast of Tabernacle? What about, what about on the Sabbaths? It's hard for a lot of us to get off on even on the Sabbaths. What about the new moons? What about the Passover? What about the Feast of Dedication? We, we find it hard to be able to do those things in, in their neighborhood. The Most High God told us not to be in that community because we can't do the things that we're supposed to be doing. I don't see none of you Hebrew camps doing anything about that, but being on the street corner like everything's, you don't did the most high God's laws and commandments. Y'all are number Pharisees, scribes, hypocrites.
Because once you once you when you start committing yourself to the most high God and you and you just stop doing his his laws and stuff and you and you throwing all the blame on your people, you gotta first look at yourself in the mirror and say, are we doing everything the most high God told us to do? Oh, we supposed to be separate. Get get the hell up out of out of this land. But if you do that, you're gonna lose half of your congregation and you don't wanna do that, right? You should have told your congregation in the beginning and stop and stop setting a, a, a pipe dream. Because you got a lot of your congregation still committed to this white man and don't want to lose their jobs and stuff like that. You need to set up a, a, a game plan for them. Sometimes truth got to be told. You tell your people from the beginning, this is a battle we, we're battling. Y'all want to come along, you're going to save some money. We're going to buy some land and we're going to buy equipment. We're going to do this and we're going to do that. And then we're just going to cut loose once we get started. We get the property grown. We get the buildings raised up. We can live out there on the land without having to worry about uh, this and this. We're going to let loose. You're going to cut it all loose. You just got to tell the truth. Now, you know, if y'all want to stay rich and be, live a richly life and, and, and live in Esau world and do all the stuff that Esau have, have for you, we're going to leave you here. We're going to practice the laws of the Most High God and do what he say do. I don't find it hard to do, but, you know, a lot of y'all probably have problems with it. I don't find it hard to do. It's just, a, you know, right now, I don't cut loose. I don't, I don't, a lot of this stuff, I don't, I don't pride in, I don't watch football games, I don't watch basketball games, baseball. I don't watch any type of sports. I may look at, go on YouTube and look at the highlights and look at the standards and that's it. I, I probably don't even know but one or two members of, of the NBA or the uh, of the football league. I just stopped watching it. Once I get more and more to this truth, I, I have no desire to want to watch it. I stopped watching a lot of TV. I don't watch the news, period. So when you cut loose, just give up a lot of stuff. Give that stuff up. Make you a lot, make you feel a lot better. Tell you what, in due time, this commitment of 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 mine in, in my heart with the Most High God have us to build our communities and and build and grow our own food. It's gonna come to pass. It's gonna happen. Don't know when, but I'm gonna still have faith that it's gonna happen because that's something the multi God told us to do, and I have the mind to want to do it. And I'm sure there's a lot of other people that have the same mind that want to separate and do what the multi God told us to do, and know that there is something wrong right now, especially with the Hebrews that calling themselves, you know, we're the, we're the followers of Christ. You're not following Christ. You're not even following the Most High God. When he tell you to do something, and you do something totally different, but you want to go out and teach the people the laws. Every time I see y'all do that, I, I look at I look at uh, Matthew twenty three and two and three. Scribes and Pharisees sit in Moses' seat. Do as they bid. Do do what they tell you to do, but don't do after their works. Don't be marching up and down the street. Don't be doing none of the other stuff that they be telling you to do. Yeah, you know, they're teaching you the law. Okay, t obey the law. But don't do none of their work. Don't follow after their work. But that's, that's not what the Father told them to do. That's what, that's what I perceive. Every time I see them, I, that's what I perceive. 
Yeah, I, I follow their law because yeah, they they are they're teaching the law. But looks like God need more. He need more than teachers. The whole nation of Israel were not teachers. They were builders. They were, they were all type of work, metal workers. We, you know, when when Moses was establishing the covenants and stuff, and and, and having to build a, a the, the sanctuary and all the things that most I God had us build, they had a lot of a different talents doing that work. So that's what the nation of Israel needs. Yeah, we need teachers, but we need a lot of other different types of work. People who can deal with solar. People who can civil engineers, water uh, reservoirs and water. You know, building. You know, making making certain clean water and uh, how to deal with sewage and everything else. Even people you know who could turn you know make sewage into fertilizer. It's just we need people that can do all types of things that that make make a, a nation or a city develop and, and grow. We, we need people that can, can deal with, uh, with uh, crops and, and growing crops, masters at that. We need people who could, you know, can those, pro, uh, those not well, can them or preserve whatever, whatever that is, you know. We need people who could run stores and groceries, make products available at the grocery store and shelves and, and put it in, in, in a right display. Need a lot of a lot of different types of people. So, you know, just somebody to be teaching every day, we need more than that. We need no more we need you need a city officials, righteous officials. Nobody is thinking about filthy lucre but about thinking about the their own people, their city. It's not driven by money, but by the law. Nobody is better than anybody else. But anyway, something to think about. Uh, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. If you want to support my ministry, you go on Amazon.com and purchase one of my books. Yeremiah Israel is the name. And you can Pull up any one of those links, purchase any of my books in paperback, audio, ebook, hard copy. It's four formats. So feel free to support this ministry. Hope you guys have gotten some out of this. And with that, family and friends, I'd like to say shalom. Shalom.